Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliana and in today's video I'm going to do my February wrap up. So I'm going to talk about the books that I read, the books that I'm currently reading and then I'm going to talk about the movies and series that I watched throughout the month of February. So beginning with the books that I read, I read Angelo by John Giono. This is a character development of Angelo, <laughs> as the title says. Uh, this is a character development uh, of this character from the novel The Horseman on the Roof. So from this one. Can you see what happened to this cover? It came like this. I bought this from Amazon and it arrived like this. And I was too lazy to return it and, you know, do all the things that you have to do to return the book and then wait, for, you know, I didn't want it, so I didn't mind. I don't mind my, my books being a bit wrecked. So, yeah, well, there you go. And so this one, Angelo, is a bit of a draft, can we say, um, like um, a rehearsal from Gian Giono, the author, to the character that he wanted to build for, for this novel, The Horseman on the Roof. Um, what can I say? I'm going to do a joint review for these two in a video that if everything goes right it will be come it will be uploaded tomorrow. So let's see how that goes because this one is my 12 books for 12 months book challenge for the month of February. But I'm I wasn't able to finish it in the, during the month of February. I had to... Um, I think I finished this Friday. Yeah. Uh, and I took a bit of, like two to three days to finish it. So in the month of March. So that's why I'm not putting it in here in my February wrap up as I should but um, I'm going to do a joint review for these two books and if everything goes right it will be out tomorrow if later Tuesday well let's see then I read In this edition, this is like, um, how do you say it? This is a really short book. This is The Last Day of a, Conde a Condemned Man by Vitor Hugo. This com com came out like in a newspaper, together with a newspaper, you know, uh, here in Portugal. And I read it in this uh, edition and this edition doesn't have introduction I, I think it doesn't let me see <laughs> uh, no <laughs> so it doesn't have preface or epilogue or anything like that uh, and I knew that for this book um, it has some prefaces and some were written by Vitor Hugo himself uh, and so I wanted to discover an edition where I could read those prefaces so I found this edition for you it doesn't matter right because uh, probably you don't speak Portuguese but um, I was very content when I found this this one I, I bought this in second hand and I haven't uh, 
read the prefaces yet, but I'm intended to do that and then do a video review about this book. So there you go. I read this one. So this is, so I can give you something. This is a, this is accompanying a man during his last days till his con condemnation. So he's, he was judged and he was condemned to the guillotine. We accompany his last days, his visits, his thoughts, so his interactions with people and uh, Vitor Hugo was against the death penalty and this is like a um, rehearsal, shall we say, um, for people to think about it. And, but it's not like he's convicting an innocent man, that's not the purpose here. But still, it makes you think and reflect about the topic. So very interesting. I will do a more in-depth review in my video. So let you can wait a bit for it. I'm I'm thinking of doing, if not this week, the following week. So let's see. And then I read Siddhartha by Hermann Hess. Hesse or Hess. I don't know how well to pronounce it. Um, let me know in the comments so I can correct myself. Uh, I love this book. This is also a very short one. This is a voyage of a young man that he... So this passes in India in the 5th century before Christ. And... Siddhartha is the name of our protagonist and he's a son of uh, how do, I don't know how to translate it in English. So in my video I hope I have the answers for that but he's, son of, he's well in life shall we say. So he's a son of a family not I, w I, I don't think we can say they were rich people, but they were well. And he, he had everything that he, you possibly can have to be well in life. And he learned how to reflect, how to... He learned how to fast. So things related to the devotion of... God, gods and one day he tells his father that he wants to know the world and that he, he wants to go on a voyage and his father isn't very keen on the idea but Siddhartha uh, doesn't leave it alone and he stays still for like a day and a night in the same spot so, so his father could see his will and so he goes on this voyage with a friend he, he was like more his I, can, I don't think servant is the right word but his companion I don't remember his name, Govinda, and I won't, I shan't, I shouldn't say any more, um, because I'm uh, planning to do a video as well, a video review, so you can wait in for that video to come out, and then we will discuss this book with more depth. Okay, so now the books that I'm currently reading, I'm. I'm about to start, so I'm, I'm going to cheat a bit in this one because I, I can't say that I started this, like I just saw the historic note 
and so I didn't dive in in the story yet but you know I think that counts so this is Gates of Fire by Stephen Pressfield um, and I'm really excited to this reading I hope that I will be intrigued and I will enjoy it so let's see how that goes and then about the movies and series so I only watched one movie and that was The Triangle of Sadness so this is a movie with Hoody Herons Harrelson so the plot of this movie is very strange not so strange but it's peculiar because we started the movie we start the movie with um, an interview of models in a casting session uh, and then we follow the a couple of, that we find out that they are models fashion models um, discussing between them they went to dinner and the bill comes up and there is a, a bit of a discussion who is going to pay the bill and whatever um, and then we pass to like a cruise in a yacht um, not so much a cruise but more a yacht with some rich people okay so something like that so a very luxurious yet and th that couple was invited to go on that ship on that yacht uh, and so they are there and then we we follow we follow them but also we follow some of the other um, people that are staying in the yacht and then we follow the crew of the yacht and Woody Harrelson is the captain of the ship but he's, uh, he's drunk and they have to do um, captain dinner with so with all the guests and the captain and the um, manager of the crew is trying to negotiate with the character of Woody when he can do the dinner <laughs> and so that's the whole thing and things turn out like bad because the dinner um, is scheduled for a day in a week where there is a, a storm so the ship is balancing too much you know you know that provokes you know what I mean so people don't feel well vomit comes through and everything is a disgust disgusting like <laughs> you have to watch this movie it's brilliant and everything goes turns to the bad side and so the dinner ends like in a downfall but then the captain and another member of the of the guests go to the um, captain's room where there is um, a microphone that connects to the colon the sound colon columns of the the whole yacht and they start talking uh, it's a whole mess uh, and then well it happens something where they end up how can I say this without giving spoilers I don't think that I can so something happens to worsen the situation 
and they end up can i say it they end up in an island okay so and that's the only thing that i'm going to say go trust me really you have to trust me on this one you have to watch this movie it's so in the beginning it's like so nonsensical so weird so what the hell is going on why am i watching this and then you realize that you are in for a social experiment um, and it's really eye-opening when you balance things and you the plates turn you know so the situation comes around and uh, the parts turn am i saying that right i hope you understand me so brilliant i loved it um it has besides woody i don't think the other actors at least i didn't recognize them um except for harry's dickinson i i think i saw him somewhere but i can point out exactly where or in which movie so but they were all brilliant the i love the actors um and you know there is a character there that is really <sighs> well she's um she was a maid in the yacht and then she will turn to something else in the island so very very interesting so you have to watch it please do so okay so now about the series i started watching the english so i just saw the first episode this is with Emily Blunt and Shask Spencer. So this is in the 1890s in America. And Emily Blunt is an English woman that travels to America because her son died. He was assassinated and now she's pursuing the her son's killer in America and then we have the character of Shask Spencer that he's uh, an indigenous person uh, and but he works for the American army and so they meet in a peculiar cir circumstance so he's he is tied to his tithe, like someone tied him. And we know who it is because that is like the host of the character of Emily Blunt. But she very fast she finds out that her host is not a person that she thought he was. And she's in a predict, pred, predicament. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. Predicament. Is that how you say it? So she's in a bad situation. Very, very bad. And some things happen. And the, her... So the English woman and the indigenous man come to a team and they write together after that and that's the, the only thing that I'm going to say for right now I'm really enjoying it I love Emily Blunt that's why I chose to watch this series that was because of her uh, but I didn't recognize the um, the actor that plays the indigenous man but then later i found out that he participated in twilight he was one of the wolves um so 
what was I thinking saying that yeah that's a fact okay so <laughs> there you go but he's very well in the series I really enjoyed watching him I really like I like his character he's a hero you know at least for right now uh, and I suppose he's going to continue like that so uh, I love uh, period um, series and period movies I really enjoy them so I'm really excited to see what comes next and yeah uh, yeah that's all uh, for the month of February uh, I hope you I hope you watch the next videos that I said that I'm going to do please don't forget to check the Amazon link that I left down below you don't pay anything more for because of that I just receive a small commission and that is a way for you to help me so thank you so much um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to press the ring bell button to wall so you can receive all my notifications Leave a like, it helps out the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel. Follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting there whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. And yeah, I see you on the next one. Bye!